What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and today I have got a weird one. Uh, now, if you look closely at this, this little game here, you can see that everything is made out of text characters and, and just highlights. That's all this is. This is all just highlighted text, and you can see the ripples in the water, you can see the reflection. It's very pretty, and maybe this wouldn't be as impressive if you couldn't do this. Yeah, so this isn't just a two-dimensional game made out of text characters. This is a full three-dimensional engine being run exclusively out of highlighted text, being rendered exclusively by highlighted text, which is very strange. You can see there's little percentage signs, there's X's, periods, a couple parentheses. All that's that's just just text. And, and highlights, which is crazy, and even crazier that it all runs in a browser, um, which I think is really cool. Now, here's the thing about this game, which I'm kind of weirded out by. This game, I don't know that much about, and honestly, I also can't find anything about it almost anywhere. If I look for it on YouTube, nobody's talked about this game at all. If I look this up on Reddit, there's barely nothing. It is really, really just down on the radar of the internet, which is really weird to me because it is such a cool little project. Look at this. Look at all of the little houses being made out of like closed brackets and open brackets and 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 periods and little little text symbols. That's it, but it's a fully three-dimensional world. It's so strange. Now, I found this project when I was looking up different ideas, different concepts for shaders uh, for Unity and Unreal Engine Four, and this project is being created by this guy called Gumix, and you can go check him out. I'm going to put a link to everything down in the comments below. So if you want to check out the project, you can just click the link, and it'll just instantly load, and you can play around with this. I mean, it's it's right there. It's you could play this right now. Um, and this guy started this project a while ago, but I have not really seen anything about this for almost a year now. If I go on to Reddit, uh, all I can find is just one little section, and there's only two posts, one of which is the creator and another person uh, talking about when the next build is going to come, which never came a year ago. And if you look at this, the last thing that he posted was actually this concept he was building inside this game where you could have buildable structures. So you could have three-dimensional building, you could actually like actually craft and build walls. and this, this is amazing. This project has so much potential. It's so interesting, and yet there is just nothing about it anywhere. Now, he actually left this project to work on another little thing that he did recently. This project called... Uh, uh, ASCII Patrol, uh, and ASCII is the the nomenclature for for this kind of little art style. It seems to be his specialty is making art out of out of text and and uh, uh, little highlights and and whatnot. And this is a this is kind of a cool little game. It's definitely not as interesting as the other project. It's kind of like this little moon runner. I, I'm actually not sure if this is made in Unity or not. Uh, some Somebody from Unity actually retweeted uh, some of the stuff that he was talking about for it, kind of talking about how Unity factors into his project, but I, I don't really know much about it, and I don't care as much as I care about this thing. This is so cool to me, and I don't understand why not more people find this fascinating. Um, and you can actually go through all of the different versions uh, of when he started this project and started building this engine. So you can go to uh, ASCII. It, it's actually, I mean, if you look at it, A-S-C-I-I-C-K-E-R. So it's ASCII. 
<laughs> good, good meme. Didn't want to say that at the beginning of the video because I'm pretty sure YouTube would smack me. Uh, but you can look at all of the different versions and all of the different things that he added. Like here's when he started adding different terrain types, and you have the water. Uh, here's when he started adding in these these weird these weird uh, uh, buildings. Uh, these these three dimensional buildings. Let's see. Let's let's keep going down the line. Oh, not the same one. Blue Drake, what are you doing? Um, here's where he started testing like different generators for creating roads and creating all sorts of different systems. And if you go even further, assuming it loads, here's where he started adding the player character and he started creating the world and he started creating all of these these kind of like subtle shading effects. So you can see like here's kind of like a, a highlight on the terrain uh, and then here's kind of like the darker side of the terrain. Little things that you wouldn't really notice that all come together. And this is the latest version that I've seen that's publicly available. Now, he's posted some other stuff as well. Which, which kind of just makes you think about how amazing this could be. Here's a little thing that he posted with some bridges and, and cars and also like text uh, with people talking to each other, more vegetation types. Um, and if you go through here, you can kind of see all of the different options that you could potentially have for building buildings, building structures. But this is the last post, and it's from January, uh, the beginning of last year. How depressing is that? This is this is the last post I have ever seen from him about this game. And this this is what happens to me. I go I I go down these rabbit holes. Usually I'm looking up some kind of like shader or something or some kind of like tutorial and then I just I I I trip across these things and I'm like, "Where did this go?" This was such an interesting little project. I mean, you could imagine creating something out of this that I think people would go bomb. I mean, this is a really lightweight, pretty, unique art style game. You could create like an RPG out of this that would be online. You could imagine an RPG MMO. You could imagine maybe even some kind of like like life simulator game, kind of like Arma Life or or Dark RP or something where it's multiplayer and you can build your houses and you can farm stuff and the the potential is endless. And it's such a cool concept. It's such an interesting way to render a world where you just have this entire world rendered out of out of x's and and periods and semicolons but it's it's fully three-dimensional how weird is that how crazy is that and where did it go where did this go where did this game go i'm so confused so that's where I'd actually kind of like to ask for your help. Like, I'm really curious about this project. And I've done a good amount of digging, but there must be more out there. There has to be an answer. If you guys could, please, go look into this for me. Go figure out where this came from. Go figure out if there's any more of it. Go, f I don't know, go look. Maybe there's something on GitHub or something. I have no idea. But this is so cool. It's such a cool idea. It's so much fun to play, even in this very, like, laughably small. Look at this. This is interesting. You can see all of the different terrain layers and whatnot. Even this tiny little demo is so much fun, and it just immediately makes your brain run with the possibilities of, of taking something like this and making really cool mods out of it, or games out of it, that all just run in your browser, too. I mean, look at this. You can just, if you want to play this game, bam, it will load. In, there it is. You are good to go. There's nothing. Not on Steam. You don't have to download it or install it. It's just right there. That is, that's, that's crazy to me. The potential is insane. I think potentially one of the reasons it's so performant as well, it runs so well, is because it's, it's just text. <laughs> like, look at this. It's just text. Um, which, I don't know, it blows my mind. So, that's everything for me. I think this is really, really cool. If you guys think this is cool as well, please let me know. If you want to help me figure out where this is gone feel free to contact me on discord or maybe leave your feedback in the comments below i will also leave links on how you can access this build how you can play around with this look at that look at the look at the building reflecting in the water look at the ripples and the waves affecting the reflection that's crazy that's so cool um but that's it from today you know how i am I just like bringing you cool things and showing you the weird stuff that I find. So this is just another really weird thing that I think is really cool and has a lot of potential. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, make sure you press that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. All right.
Remember, Blue Drake loves you. And uh, end video time. <sighs> cats are cats are kind of weird things, aren't they? <clears throat> All right.